probably 20 more minutes before Sean gets back so we can leave. So I'm going to pack up the kids' diaper bags and get us ready to get out of the door for our 4th of July adventure at the park. Hey everybody, clap your hands! Clap, 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 clap your hands! What about Messing up my mind, but I love your sound And I'm loving your lips like a candy bar I ain't kidding, I just won't have ya I ain't kidding, I just gotta have ya My rosemary over here is still doing pretty good My bell pepper plant has gotten so tall And it had these little baby bell peppers starting to form on it at first they were flowers and now it looked like that and then check this out though like i have a huge bell pepper right here look at that there's two of them and it's so crazy because they weren't even like hardly this big not too long ago and they're like so strong and look at that that's like a whole big ass bell pepper guys and i have these tomatoes i don't know if these are supposed to turn red or not i have to try to reach down there and figure out what kind of tomatoes these even are because honestly there were some sort of hybrid i don't even know what they are red ones down there and i think those are just like roma tomatoes but this tomato thing is wild it's growing down like all over the place and i need to try to find something that i can stand up so maybe i can stand the vines up in this corner go i didn't know how to plant no tomato plants here trying to garden don't even know what i'm doing my little flowers were doing okay and i had these ones over here too so they're still thriving um i'm not really sure what's going on with my lavender i think honestly these are getting kind of dry i'm a little bit concerned if it's getting enough water like i'm not even sure what how lavender grows anybody that's like a lavender expert like does this look dead i mean i know it's not dead but is it gonna grow more lavenders so pretty crazy but it's definitely thriving like everything is thriving it's growing and in the meantime i'm going to water that water my front grass and get started on dinner you waking up you fell asleep in there <laughs> Why are you upset? Why are you upset, son? Because, because why, baby? Because, because, because Nels, Nels, Nels' song is too loud. Because Nels' song is too loud? Yeah. You, oh, okay. You don't want her to sing that loud or what? I don't want her. Okay, well, she was just trying to sing you a nice song, though, okay? So can you tell her thank you? Sweetheart. Hey, Neil. Can you say you're welcome to Preston? Can you tell him you're welcome? I'm mad. He's mad? <laughs> okay, he's not mad anymore, okay? We're not going to be mad at our baby sissy, okay? Can you guys please finish, um... Getting those peeled those so I can start dinner. Like yes, I broke it. Should it should have only so taken you guys a few minutes. Look at the fact that Michaela is almost as tall as Samaya. What is going on here with their height? Good morning. It is Friday. I just got to the grocery store. I'm headed in to pick up some groceries. I am going back to meal planning. I've been off my meal plan for weeks, probably months, to be perfectly honest. And Honestly, in terms of just budgeting and knowing what I want to make for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or at least dinner. When I meal plan, I don't really necessarily put breakfasts together. Breakfast is super easy. The kids really like to eat cereal. They like grits and oatmeal and um, pancakes So and waffles, of course. So breakfast is usually really easy, and it doesn't require a ton of 
like thinking but dinners usually require thinking for me I feed a family of six um, my husband is slightly picky as to what he likes to eat and I just want to feed everybody and make sure that everybody enjoys their food and I think that meal planning is really a great option and idea and it doesn't really take that long I've been scrolling Pinterest this morning looking for ideas I think I've put together what we're gonna do for at least the next week and that's all I'm really gonna try to shop for I feel like we go to the grocery store every day and I want to eliminate having to do that triple A credits are right Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the inner lane 24 twice She's on the phone but she's staying on Will shop for the phone My basket is full. I did not get everything on my list. I didn't even finish making my round through the store. So one more trip is going to be necessary. I managed to get us all into the trunk and the car. It is nine o'clock in the morning and I think it's literally supposed to be like 112 degrees here in freaking sunny Southern California today. I'm so hot, like I'm already freaking sweating. This is ridiculous. I didn't get everything that I needed from the store. Um, my basket got way too full. It was super heavy, but um, so I'll we'll have to come back out and get a couple of things that I wasn't able to make my way. I didn't even get to like the bread section of the store. Yeah, it's time to go home so that these kids can unload me. inside of Canva. I just finished uploading a video to Instagram TV and I had to edit it in Adobe Premiere. I got some new editing software. I'm working in Adobe Premiere Pro now. I was working in Final Cut a little bit. My favorite one I think so far you guys is iMovie um, and I've also I still like to edit very simple things in Windows Movie Maker. So I have all these different editing softwares under my belt. This Adobe Premiere Pro is complicated as hell. So I've literally been sitting here like all day trying to figure out how to work this freaking Adobe Premiere Pro. So I finally was able to get at least a two minute video cut and clipped. Preston, what are you doing? Cut and clipped and edited, but Anyways, that's what I've basically been working on. I'm working on a little bit of branding and yeah, just taking care of like some social media. I don't even know if you can hear me. I have stuff on my agenda for tomorrow, so I'm probably gonna just wash my hair tonight and let's hope I can comb it out.
So I'm going to get ready to go and sit down. It's Monday, so um, I'm going to go through my planner and just kind of go through my vision binder. Mondays, I kind of like to take it easy. I kind of use Mondays as just a day to get caught up on everything for the week. And let's not forget my coffee. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Making ripped jeans. You're going to rip your jeans? Yeah. Oh, Samaya's going to rip her jeans. Cute. Hopefully they won't turn out like my last ripped jeans that split all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> Here, put this on my desk. It's really easy. Like, watch when you look at this tutorial. It's not going to be hard to do. And once you do it, you're going to get all, like, obsessed. I remember when <laughs> cut-off shorts were a thing. I remember when cut-off shorts were, like, a thing and you just made them yourself. Me and my cousin, when we were probably 12 and 14 or whatever, we were forever cutting up some jeans to make like some little tiny cut off shorts. And you just cut them, put them in the washing machine until they fringe, and then you're good to go. Like it's super easy to rip and cut jeans. I don't know what she's talking about. She has no hair. It's making it kind of tough for you to comb it in, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. But we're not going to brush your hair because mommy's brushing your hair, okay? So I feel like I had a really productive morning so far. I was able to get up pretty early. Preston beat me up as usual. <laughs> I said Preston beat me up. Preston woke up before me. He beat me to the punch when it came to waking up. I went ahead and got up and took care of my morning things. I did a little bit of looking in my vision binder and some visualizations and stuff like that to get my day going. And I need it because honestly it really helps me get motivated. It puts me in the right mind frame and it gets me thinking about what it is that I want and it helps me to achieve the goals of actually doing what I need to do to accomplish getting where I'm trying to go. Because if we just have goals and we don't ever take a moment to look at them or to evaluate them and make sure that we're staying on track and holding ourselves accountable for actually doing what it takes to reach those goals, nothing ever gets done, right? We stay pretty stagnant. So that being said, I went through my morning routine. I was able to get a workout in, so I just did like a little 30 minute um, yoga workout and stretched and... I made myself some coffee, I checked through some emails, and I just got a ton of stuff done this morning, so I'm feeling really good. It's headed for the afternoon, kids are going to get lunch, and Mondays I kind of like to just take it easy and do some catch up, so I think once I get done with that, that's really kind of all that I have to do. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> there's enough with that so far. Do you see my sink again? This is constantly and forever the state of my kitchen on summer break. And I'm gonna go ahead and acknowledge that I'm partially to blame because we ran out of paper plates a few days ago and I have not 
picked up paper plates. I went to the store. I completely forgot to get paper plates and you really just can't completely forget something like that when everybody's here and everybody's home and everybody constantly wants to eat and there's constantly dishes going into the sink. I wouldn't have to come in the kitchen and do dishes 20 times a day if um, if we had paper paper stuff to use. So yeah, the kids are off for their nap. I don't know why Michaela wants to take a nap in their room today, but okay, more power to her. Um, Preston gets almond milk with vanilla cream. Penelope has almond milk with vanilla cream. And Michaela wanted some regular milk with vanilla cream, so see if we can make some naps happen. Is everybody ready for naps? Yeah, yeah. This is the pool team, so we're all just gonna sleep in one room. Oh, all right, the pool team, because they want to go swimming when they wake up. So here's your baba. Yay. Here's a cup for you. Why do you get a baby cup? Right, what if she needs a baby cup, huh? There we go. You in there? Yeah, all right. What? When you wake up, guess what you get to do? Put your swimming on and then go swimming! Yep, when you guys wake up, we can go outside and go swimming. Yeah. It's a good job. Thank you. Do you like them? Yeah. A little bit? They feel better when they're on, but you know. Uh -uh. The kids are up from their nap. We're getting ready to go outside so that they can swim for a little bit. It's a little later than I expected them to be up. They slept for a while. It's I said, I six, took four naps. You probably did. It's did. six o'clock, <laughs> so we're gonna go outside for just a little bit and then I'm gonna come in and make dinner. I think we're gonna have some fish tacos tonight. Super simple, easy. I do them with fish sticks. Ooh, it's simple. <laughs> Like the day before. It's three o'clock and I'm getting ready for a um, consultation call. So I'm going to be working with somebody on helping them kind of build up their YouTube channel and their social presence and just trying to uh, work to get more views and subscribers. So I'm going to be getting ready to take that call in a second. Um, I'm excited to work with her. I've got all my little notes set up, my pen, so that I can take notes on what we talk about. I've got my questions all set up for her. In about 10 minutes, um, we'll be making that call. So I've just basically kind of been sitting here at the computer editing and working all day. I took the kids out earlier to go swimming, which was nice. It's like a warm day outside. Where are you? Okay, good, right. And that's why I'm asking because honestly, I feel like all the time people want to skip over the real, you know, and when you look at videos on YouTube that are telling you how to grow a channel and you know how to increase this, one of the things that's always said is don't do it for the money, do it because you love it, you have to do it because you love it, and the reason for that is is because you have to build. And there's a building period and there's a building time, and for some people they've been on YouTube for eight years before they see growth. And for some people they've been on YouTube for eight months and they explode out of the water. The reality, and let's be real about this whole thing, is we do get on YouTube to make money if we're gonna put this much of our time and effort into it. I wanna get paid, right? <laughs> Okay. You know, whatever they come to our channel for, if it's for the cooking, for the meeting, for the vlog.